hear her. Why are you crying? What? Something just happened? I can hear, Mom, listen, yesterday, you understood what I said, right? I went to Humane Lobby Day in Boston. It took me a long time to get there, so it takes me a long time to get to you. Um, but, you know, it, it was, it, and I, um, I was, I just want, because you, you, when I didn't call you Sunday, I had visited you Saturday, and I usually don't call every day, I call every other day, and you, you said you wanted me to call every day, so I knew I'd be home late yesterday, so I just called you. What? Anyway, um, I couldn't hear you yesterday, so if, I can, so if you want to tell me what you said yesterday, you can, but you don't have to. You can? How come you were able to say it yesterday? Why were you able to say it yesterday? Leave the hospital? Mm hmm. When you told me that you've seen other people leave. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So say something. Something happened just now. Do you want to hear about my day yesterday? Okay, it's Humane Lobby Day. Um, I don't even know how the Humane Society started contacting me. I think they, they started contacting me when I was still living with you um, via email. Who knows? Maybe because I ordered dog food from Petco. Maybe because I, I, I've, I've, I've clicked on things, interest in animals, like whole, you know, dog food. I don't know. Or whole dog journal, things like that. I don't know. For whatever reason, they found me. They found, I guess, they find people who they believe might, you know, be interested in animals. And they have you, um... I never did this before. They send you things. Can you sign this petition online, you know, to do whatever, to, to, what? You have to sign a release to what? Are you serious? But I've been calling you all along. Mom. Do you want to hear about my day yesterday? You can't hear about my day? What? You will?
You'll be getting out soon? I don't know, they always say that. They don't give you a day, though. I know. I know, they've done that in other hospitals, too. They give you hope and they... I wish there was something I could do, Mom. There isn't. You know that, right? Mama? What do you mean? They don't let you talk to me? Who, the hospital staff or, or the gods? Mom? Well, that was exciting. She hung up on me. And she said, they, I don't know if she means the hospital staff for the gods. So, I'll update you guys, whoever cares. I went to the Humane Society lobby day yesterday. Was my heart in it? No. Can you blame me? I mean, seriously. Can, considering what's going on with my mom, can you really blame me? But my heart's not in that. But I did it because I made my, I gave in my word that I would. And they even call you the day before. Someone called me. Can you, you you're coming, right? We don't want a no show because you're signed up to talk to your legislators. You know, um, I did it. My heart wasn't in it, but I did it. Um, you know. Um, and this is what I wore. I, uh, I had forgotten my belt. I'm get good out of here on time. I have to travel far to get anywhere, but... You think I care? If you guys think I care that I don't drive, I don't give a flying fuck. I really don't. I care that I'm not normal. But that encompasses so many things that, you know... If I was normal, you know, I'd be married with kids, and I'd be driving, and I'd be this, and I'd be that. I'm not normal, so I never have been, and, you know. Um, but, anyhow, I, I'd never done anything like this before, never taken part in anything like this. I mean, I, I talked to legislators, senators, or whatever I talked to, right, you know, or their assistants or whatnot, and I was, and they had a, and now I'm in the picture, and, you know, and, um, they had a better turnout this year than last year. I, um, it's all stuff I believe in, you know. I believe in it in a, for a multiple of reasons. Um, my reasons go even deeper when it comes to animals. There's a bill up because of what happened around here in Massachusetts, you know, with that puppy doe, the brutally abused um, pit bull dog mix, whatever, um, to, to make animal cruelty laws steep, um, steeper penalties, you know. 
steeper jail time, steeper penalties, whatnot. To me, the confinement law is a, the confinement bill is a no-brainer. If we have to eat, I don't eat meat anymore, as you guys know, but if we have to eat meat, you know, because they're not going, it's, those factory farms aren't going away. I've, I learned that Massachusetts doesn't really have factory farms the way a lot of other um, areas do, other states. But in any case, if we have to eat the meat, the animals shouldn't have to, you know, suffer needlessly beforehand where the, the sow, the pig has to, can't even, they can't even turn around their entire lives. They just, the, the woman, female pig just breeds and never even allowed to turn around. And also, <clears throat> even if you don't give a flying fuck about animals, these animals not having just their basic rights to turn around and not be all cramped in or or the chickens all cramped in together or the pet pig just being in that crate or the veal. You've heard about the veal story where they have the, just the chain and that's how they live their lives, the baby cows. Um, they get diseases. They get sores on them. They, 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 if you don't even give a shit about animals, the health things that go on on those factory farms, it's disgusting. There are people like PETA or whatever say you shouldn't eat any animals whatsoever, nothing, 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 nothing. My friend, the guy I spoke with in the summer, he's like, well, if I could go hunt my own stuff, I would eat it. He's not morally against killing. He feels the way that I do, although I can't stand the cruelty factor, and he can't either, but he's of those factory farms, but also it's disgusting. They cut away the diseased part of the, that they get diseases, they shove them full of antibodies, you're eating that crap, so. This is all stuff I'm passionate about. I learned something I didn't know. One of the bills has to do with foreign, foreign, um, like in Japan or something, they take sharks, and just to make shark fin soup, they cut the fin off the sharks, and just throw the dying, the shark has a horrible death. They throw them back in the water to drown, to die, to, you know. They cut the fins off and that's, so we can't stop them because it's another country. We can't stop what people do in the other countries, but as I pointed out to the person I spoke with, um, the rap or the, 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 the senator or whatever, I'm not, I'm not familiar with all this stuff, but the person I spoke with, and sometimes you don't speak to that person directly, but you speak to his, her rep who will take notes and transfer everything over that you're saying, and then just show up is enough. Seriously, they just want you to show up. Even how many people are in the picture shows that more people care. The senators and whatnot will listen because we're the voters if we care about the animals. Um, Even if you don't give a flying fuck, as I said, about the animals, about the sharks, or whatever, um, it's affecting the oceans. You know, throwing all these dead, dying sharks back in the water, and it, it affects the ecosystem. It affects all that crap. Do I understand all of it? No. Um, but in any case, we don't need to, we can't stop the countries from doing that, but we don't have to have shark fin, you know what I mean? They don't, we can stop them from being imported, and that's all the bill is, to stop them from being imported into Massachusetts. So, but I learned that all these bills, they go through, and they don't always, um, it might take years to get them passed. If they never, they might never get passed. But if we did nothing, then, you know, nothing would change. And good news, recently Massachusetts did pass the bill um, to protect pets in the case of, um, of a, nat a, nat a disaster because it endangers people. And I so it said, I'm like, I, I honestly believe, I'm like, that's a good thing that bill was passed because... If push came to shove, and these people don't want to leave their pets behind, even though they're told it will come back for them, they should have it in a place where the, the people will rescue you and take the animals with you. Um, so that bill passed. I don't know if that has to do with, maybe it passed all over the country, I don't know. But it passed in any case. Like I said, I'm not big on government and all this crap. I don't know all this stuff. I, they started sending me emails back when I was living with my mom. 
and I can't give any money, I don't have money to give, but I can give my time. We signed this petition to stop the, conf you know, to in support of the, conf you know, right to, to, in support of the confinement bill that will s at least give those animals the dignity before they have to become our, our meals, you know. Um, not my meal anymore, but, you know. But I still eat fish. I don't eat farm-raised fish. I shouldn't eat fish at all, considering what's going on, you know. There are people that believe, and can I say that it's happening? No. Like I said, I, I hear a lot of stuff, but I can't, you know, that that nuclear, that, that stuff is, is going to reach us. Our water, so... But it, f f f never mind that, never mind that radiation poisoning, the mercury, nobody denies that. So I shouldn't even be eating salmon. However, I recently ordered, I, I bought some at a local store and I ordered it even cheaper from Amazon. Um, it's wild caught salmon. Because um, I do eat dairy, fish, and eggs. I'm not a vegan, I'm, I guess, a vegetarian. I get confused about that too, but a vegan doesn't eat anything. Nothing that has to do with, with, with anything, you know. And I actually met a woman at the after party. She's supposed to email me. But I ne might never hear from her again. My, my, my email's very confusing. and You know, people can fuck it up. Even an airline, when I was coming here with Omar, they fucked up and, and I didn't received my confirmation email and then the place I was staying at she was a fucking bitch and but nowadays so many people lie she just thought I was lying you have you didn't even bother to, to meet with me well you didn't didn't um you didn't ask me to you know how the hell am I supposed to know what's going on I was only here because the woman and the, the transitional housing over there, you know, was, was abusive towards me, and then I'm transferred over, it's a big mess, but in any case, the airline coming here fucked up my thing, and that's why I didn't have anything to show and prove, and they're not going to believe me, because, you know, you're in shelters and whatnot, and most people lie, I don't, but, you know, they didn't know, they didn't believe me, I had a flight back, and I wound up getting kicked out, and then I... They had said I could stay until if I had my flight, but they didn't believe me because I had no proof to show, and that was because, and I wanted to stay in one night at New Image and couldn't stand it. I I was gonna kill, I wasn't gonna kill myself. I was gonna break down, and I my only hope. I already had my flight. My mom had paid for my flight secretly. Remember, Mary and Sharet's fuck wouldn't have given her a penny to do it. Mary and I wasn't supposed to come here, you know, but my mom defied everything, and then in the end she, you know, cowered as usual. I wound up in the shelter, but. Um, new image, yeah. Horrible. Horrible, horrible self. Oh, my God. Um, and I only had to stay there, even when I was talking to someone at um, OPCC in Santa Monica. I told him I'd stayed. I'd stayed at this. I said one night. She's like, she's like, you can do it, Laura. You're strong. You're doing it for your dog. You know you have a flight to Massachusetts to be with your mom and heal with Omar. You can do this. You can stay at this shelter. No, I can't. They drop you off in a. You you get on a, a bus in the morning and you go to get dropped off in the middle in the com. You get no no. You get dropped off in the. Is that the combat zone? I'm getting confused. I don't know. Wherever it was, it's bad. You know. And I can't disappear into the woodwork. I look like this, you know. Even if I look disgusting, even if I'm I'm looking old and disgusting in my face or whatnot, I still have the blonde hair and I still have the body. And I don't, you know. I can't slip disappear into the woodwork. And in the end, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go back there. And you have to wait around. If you miss that bus, you're screwed. You can't get in to that damn new image unless if you miss that bus. So you actually have to go early just in case. And you have to hang out in the bad, bad part of town. I forget what it was, but bad part of town. And, and I couldn't do it. In the end, I chose to four days in a row ride the 33, the 333, whatever. Ride it all night long. Well, um... It was a. It was better than staying in that shelter. It was hell. The shelter was hell, and you were in little cots, and there's like thousands of people there, and, and it just. I couldn't take it. I couldn't do it. 
You'd think I could. You'd think I would be stronger. I couldn't do it. I did it one night, and I was like, never gone. God, even when I wanted to use the bathroom, and I didn't know where, you're supposed to pick up a roll. How am I supposed to know you pick up a roll of toilet paper or whatnot? And I'm asking, and they're ridiculing me, you know? It was just horrible. And then they're like, we're not the, we're not the, fat, we're, we're, you know, the Queen's Hotel or something. You have to get, how the fuck am I supposed to know there's not toilet paper in the stall? You know, I don't know. I've never been here in my life, fucking bitch. They were acting like I was being some kind of prima donna and I wasn't. on my bed, will you? I took you out to pee. First of all, pee on my bed. Got your cookies. Got, got to bring the dogs home cookies. Um, from dog bakery, polka dot dog bakery donated. And I thought, like, when you go to Petco, they'll give you a few samples. I thought, oh, I can get a few samples. No, they gave us a whole, whole bag of donated and they're homemade. You know, it's not some commercial thing. It's polka dot dog bakery they make. And their peanut butter. They're not quite vegan because the woman I met with last night is totally 100% vegan and she said, I think these are vegan. I go, I go, can I eat them? I was joking, but, but they're good, huh? Good. Cookies. You had cookies. Um. And you hear people screaming all night long and oh god. I couldn't do it more than one night. I think I would have been able to handle that. It was the bus ride that you have to get dropped off in a really bad section of town and you have to get picked up and if you're late, if you miss the bus, you're screwed. You have no place to stay for the night. So and I'd so I'd have to wait around there and I know that that, that even when I got dropped off, people, guy around there was bad. It's a project. It was something. And they were making comments. And I just, I couldn't do it. I chose what I consider definitely the lesser of two evils, riding the bus all night long. Something I had done with Omar once. I did it four days in a row. And I made friends. Not friends. I talked to people, though. Told them my situation with Mary. <laughs> There was a guy on the other bus saying, he's knowledgeable. You think homeless are just all idiots or whatnot. He he apparently was choosing to 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 be homeless or something, to save up money. I don't know the deal, but he was knowledgeable about, about saying, well, if you feel that that... I, I took notes, I don't remember, and I think he's wrong anyway. Um, but... See, I went off on a tangent, but, it, yeah, my email address is, the, the airline even fucked it up, so. I might never hear from this woman, although I'm sure if I really tried, I could try to contact her through these people that, you know, I, oh, back to how they found me. There was no sweat off my back, you know, I can, um, I can, um, sign something and they, they have you sign it online you put you put your info but they also want you to call no big deal I called and I did it a couple times every time every time they asked me to the, it's important you call first and you don't talk to the actual senator or whatnot you talk to the, the whoever answers the phone and I'm like um I received this email from Humane Society they asked me to please call and ask you to pass this bill um so that's what I'm doing <laughs> They're like, okay, we'll pass it along to Joe Schmo, you know, Senator Joe Schmo, or, you know. I can't donate money, but, you know, I, I can donate my time a little bit.
mom's not doing, she sounded better. Oh, so get back to my mom yesterday. I knew that, I mean, I was just going to call her quickly because she asked me to call her every day. So even though she hung up on me today, it was only a few minutes. When she says they, just so you know, they won't let me talk to you. It could be staff. She said that they made her sign a release to talk to me. I'm like, I don't know, but you don't know what my mom's always saying. Or they, as I, f I found out, because I'm smart and I listen to my mom, you know, in her insanity, they can also mean the gods. Because when she says they before, when I visit her, or even when I was talking around the phone, I said, what, mom, the staff? No, you know who, Medusa, Boos, you know, the cut is, oh, okay. So we have to kind of clarify, is she talking about the staff they, sometimes she is, or is she talking about the gods? Remember, um, very confusing. Very, very confusing for me. Um, so just now she said, they won't let me talk to you. Chances are it's not staff. Chances are it is the gods, you know, that are saying that she can't talk to me. But I can't get my hopes up about anything. I shouldn't even be telling some of my friends who are email friends now because I do every once in a while it's very rare I've been doing this how many years every once in a while my one of my YouTube friends who likes me graduates into we exchange emails very very rare though but in any case I shouldn't even be telling them oh, my mom's doing better because yesterday when I called her she's like I'm doing better now Laura I realized that it's not it wasn't you know that it's Marion doing all this because remember when I visited her it's not Marion you know it's not Marion it's the goddess Methuselah she's been after me since you know whenever I got committed when you were 12 and uh, I uh how could I ever forget that I got to live with my perfect cousin perfect family perfect compared to me and my abusive alcoholic stepfather and being beaten up and teased and whatnot at school and my mom turning going crazy in front of my eyes when I was 10 yeah nobody's place is perfect but they were pretty damn perfect and and they were still together when she passed away pancreatic cancer this past summer and he was he might pass away he has a lot of family my cousins and grandchildren and whatnot but he worse he they they were together since they were teenagers, you know, and it's one of those things where everyone has their problems, but they, they were, they loved each other, I know that, and that's how my cousins turned out, as far as I know, as far as I've seen, to be, you know, pretty decent, well-adjusted people, not, you know, always the most aware or whatnot, but, you know, good folk, you know, I don't know, you wonder why I would say that about them, because they are, and they didn't do all the crap, you know, that's why I say they have more right to throw stones at me than Marion, who was a mid coquette, who was with a scumbag, whose both kids have prison records for drugs, you know, cause, probably because she was doing drugs when they were kids, or baby, you know what I mean? She has no right to be throwing stones at me, but my other, the aunt who died, and her daughters, yeah, compared to me, I mean, they're, they, they all went to college, and they're adjusted, and they're not, they never were, no, you know, we're, we're getting shit-faced and picking up strangers and all this crap, you know, so, anyway, so, according to my mother, they won't let me talk to you, do I know that it's not staff, no, my common sense tells me it's probably the gods talking in her head, though, and not staff saying I can't talk to her. You know, but who knows? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know anything. All I know is yesterday my mom, I have to talk to Cheryl. I'm like, my mom said yesterday there's not going to be a meeting this week. What? It's all fucked. It's all fucked. It's all fucked. On a brighter note, even when I'm depressed, admittedly so, because I am depressed. And like I said, I went through the motions yesterday. I mean, I, I did my what I, I had given my word. And since I can't stand when people break their word, I kept my word. I went there. Remember, I think I signed up for this back before. I, I'll find out and I'll let you know. I think I signed up for this before my mom, all this happened with my mom. I don't know. I believe, I know I signed up for it when I was living with my mom. Pretty sure. Maybe not. I don't know. And then I guess I started all of this when I was living with my mom because they contacted me and whatnot. 
I don't know. I may have even signed up to be in this Humane Lobby Day thing when I was back at my mom's, you know. But I know people accuse me rightfully so if I go off on a tangent, but everything's connected. Okay, I kept my word with this thing. My mom's friend, remember how excited I was? First, I was excited just because I was able to reach my mom. I told her, I was able to reach my mom. Thank you so much that you, 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 you were a lifesaver, blah, blah, blah. So then I, I let her know, you know, this is how you can reach her. It is the number to reach her. Because we didn't even know. It was just a crapshoot. We didn't know. We knew that my mom would call from that number. But she was in one hospital right before she came to this one. We didn't have any idea. I could have called this number and been told nothing. Your mom's not here. And that would have been the end of it. Beth. Karen, whatever. Beth. I reached my mom, you know, you that you reached her at this, this is her, you call her. Oh, I will. I'll leave, I'll visit her probably next week. That's what she says to me. Remember, I didn't even know I lived close by to her. She told me where she lived and it dawned on me that I'd heard my roommate mention that. And I'm thinking, huh, why don't I see how far away she is? And she's going to go visit my mom. I could go with her. Found out she lived less than 10 miles away called her up. Guess what? You live less than 10 miles away from here. Isn't that awesome? I could go with you and visit. Oh, yeah. I probably, I'm kind of busy, you know, but um, I'm definitely going to call her and, and next week, you know, we'll go visit her. Okay? I was all excited, you know. I was like, oh, and she also said, oh, wow, you live that close. Maybe we can do lunch sometime. Sure, we'll do lunch sometime. I gave her over a week calling my mom every other day. Did Beth call you? No. Finally, I emailed her. Um, you said you were going to call my mom. How come you didn't call her? And I decided not just to email her. I called her up. Hey, Beth, you know, how come you didn't call my mom? Oh, I've been really busy. I'm like, I know, but, you know, you can just talk to her for five minutes and say you have to go pee pee or something, you know, just to send her your love. I mean, I mean, it's really important that she knows that people care about her. Don't worry, I'll call her tonight, Laura. Remember, I didn't even say anything to her. It had been over a week. I waited. I gave her a long time, even though she had said she was going to call her immediately. And then when I said, how come you haven't called her? Did I mention I thought we were going to go visit her? No, even though that had been over a week since then, previous. How I felt is, my God, you can at least fucking call her. What's wrong with you? Did I say all that? No. I did say in the email, you know, you, you promised you'd call my mom and you didn't do it. But now, since she told me again she would call my mom that night, like basically when she got off the phone with me after I'd said, it's been over a week, why didn't you call her? Didn't even mention the visiting. Because as far as I'm concerned, all right, visiting's a lot harder. Even though you did promise, I'll, I'll let you slide on that, but not on calling. You can call for five minutes. She didn't fucking even call her. She's known her over 20 years. Why didn't she call her? I hate people that do that. I hate people that break their word. Remember, people have been breaking their word to me my entire life. Irv, my abusive alcoholic stepfather, every time he got shit-faced, it'll never happen again, and crying his eyes out. Remember, he was really, he was good when he wasn't drunk. I know a lot of you can relate to that. He was good when he wasn't drunk. But he didn't get drunk every six months, you know what I mean? <laughs> I believed him every time until I wised up. How long did it take me to wise up, though, you know? You believe somebody, they're crying their eyes, and I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, it'll never happen again. Until it happens a few days later. So when I say people have been breaking their promises to me my entire life, I'm not kidding. But my mom's friend's supposed to care about her. Care about my mom. Why, why didn't she at least call, even if she can't visit? And she seemed gung-ho about visiting, calling, everything. And I think maybe the man she's with influenced or not. The reason I say that is because I said to my mom, did so-and-so call you? And she's like, no. She's like, probably, insert name of him, he told her not to, to stay away from me or whatnot. I don't care if you love my mom. You don't have to visit her, but you can fucking pick up a phone. You can do it when your husband or boyfriend or whatnot's not around. So am I going to confront her again? No. Am I going to contact her any in any manner whatsoever? No. If she contacts me, I'll be polite, but I don't think she's going to. People are so phony. 
Just as an aside, my mom really liked this woman, but I, she'd done other things. I mean, I never, she's not someone I would want as a friend, and apparently she's not even that much older than me. She's, 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 um, you know, so it didn't matter. She's not somebody I would want as a friend. Even the movies my mom would go and see with her are not movies I'd be interested in. So I know we're different. That's why when she said, well, maybe we can do lunch sometime. And this is all having, this all has to do with my mom, you know. But then she emails me, I'm here for you and whatnot. No, you're not. Not at all. You can't even call my mom and make me happy, even if you don't want to feel like doing it, you know. But you tell me you will, so you break your promise, just like everyone breaks their promise to me. No one ever keeps their promise. I'm sorry, that's not true. He kept his promise. I made him the offer of that nobody would accept. Sight unseen, you know what's going on with me. You know how I was, I'm on a psych disability. You know that my mother got sex. You know all this crap. And you are going to agree to just come and get me and all my stuff sight unseen without even meeting me first. Of course, but he needed money too, and I given him fifteen hundred cash right up front, and two months rent, and three hundred security deposit that he didn't even ask me for. I offered it because I know Omar goes to the bathroom on the floor, which Omar does, and the, most people wouldn't deal with that shit either. Um, but he doesn't care that Omar goes to the bathroom on the floor, and he loves Omar. And he's a good guy. But he kept his promise, he showed up. Only reason that I left behind hundreds of dollars worth of supplements and hundreds of dollars worth of jewelry that my mom had bought me for Christmas and that I had bought at Joe's was because it must have been in one bag that I, I was panicked. I had received a text from Mary she had to bring my mom clothes and because of that stupid dryer my mom should have never bought didn't even fit in there we had doors in the laundry room and and you can't you, you, she couldn't even open the dryer door but you see what she did in her sickness I couldn't stop her I wouldn't have been able to stop her if she bought something for ten thousand dollars she wasn't gonna but you know what I mean I couldn't stop her but you think Marion would believe that either Marion won't believe anything Get, get some clothes and stuff together for your mom. I'm coming over. I'll let you know when. I thought she had a key and could show up any time. I was panicked. So I... <coughs> and then I, I was supposed to have stayed at a hotel. That didn't work out because I couldn't get all my stuff to storage. That didn't work out. I couldn't hire someone. I tried. There was nobody... It, nobody would do it. Nobody would... I, Got on Craigslist, I tried, but in the end, he would have, he was at the hotel, and he didn't, he only read one of, I left him email, call me at this number, call me at my home phone, I'm at home, I'll tell you, and I even left him, he hadn't read the email, I put the address in the email, he hadn't read it, and then I couldn't find my cell phone, and then I got that text from Marion, and then I was panicked, but I had to get, call him first, and I already shut down my computer, I had to, Oh, it was just horrible. But it, it worked out all right, just barely. Now, I don't know what the fuck's going on with my mother. She might never get out. It's highly unlikely that she'll get her dog back. She shouldn't be living alone anyway, like one of my friends said, and I already know this. I'd already discussed it with <clears throat> my mother's with Cheryl, my mother's, you know, she should, my mother should go into assisted living. But according to Cheryl, sometimes they can have pets in there, so I don't know. Chances are my mom's not going to get Angel back. And it's for the best that I couldn't take Angel. I was trying to do the right thing. I remember I didn't ever claim that I loved Angel so much, but Omar and Angel love each other, you know. But if these people get Angel, she'll be pampered as hell. They might not want her, though. That's the thing. 
they might not want her and she definitely should never go with anyone who has kids. She needs to be, this is a married couple and it's just them and they love her and she sleeps in their bed every night. Angel should not, maybe temporarily if she has to instead of going back, you know, but she should not be with kids permanently. She's, she's snapped at me. She is not a kid dog. She's never been around kids. She went from that old woman who died, died in the house, and then went to my mom's. So she was with the woman the first couple of years, and she was a little baby, I guess, and then my mom had her for a few years, and she was almost age seven. She should not be with kids, period. I told dog woman that. I said, you should not have her with kids. She's, I've seen her snap at my mom, and my mom's her owner, and she definitely snapped at me. She has problems with her skin. She doesn't want to be picked up, doesn't want to be touched. You don't want her with little kids who will be poking at her and stuff. She'll snap at them. So I hope Dog Woman at least talks to the, whoever, the, the people, the shelter, the people who have her, and say, don't, whatever you do, if you adopt her out, don't adopt her out with kids. She's not a kid dog. She's a Bichon Poodle. She's a, you know, she's a foo-foo dog. Hmm. I have my soup downstairs on low. I should probably go check on it. You know it's not boiling away. It's filled enough and it's on low. Or almost low. Not to please low, but low enough that it's not boiling away. I know that, but I better check on it anyway. Um. I completely broke my non-GMO um, organic you know, diet yesterday. I didn't eat anything at the courthouse. They had bagels and cream cheese and all this crap. I didn't eat anything there because I on the I had eaten. I didn't have my shake and have time, but I brought with me you know kind bars, chocolate cherry chunk, and I bought nuts and seeds of you know all that all that kind of crap and fruit, and I ate it on the way. And um, but the after party I did. They had vegetables and hummus and all that. They had vegan stuff. And when I found out it wasn't meat, and I didn't have to worry about it being some mystery, some meat, and they're like, oh no, we, this is, where, where's this vegan? Although it did have ranch dressing, and I was wondering why the people around me at my table weren't taking the ranch dressing, and I figured it out, because they're totally vegan. They won't even have ranch dressing. Mm. Um, and then because I'd only had food, and because of how I think, Oh, I also had a $10 margarita on the rocks and a $2 tip, $12 for a drink, and it wasn't even strong. It wasn't even, ugh. It sucked. I had one. <laughs> and I toyed with the idea of doing what I'd done before. Just so you know, I did toy with it. I was out, and, and you know, and I was, I was toyed with buying booze and doing what I did when I visited my mom Saturday, but I didn't do it. I toyed with the idea, but I didn't do it. Um, what I did do was buy Grandma's chocolate, double chocolate chunk cookies at a convenience store and a kind yogurt nut fruit bar. And then I also, at Dunkin' Donuts, got later, a little later, because I wound up having to wait around. 